Welcome to Filmora 60 Second No More in a Short Time. In this video, we'll teach you how to fix Premiere Pro playback lag issue. 1. Change playback resolution. You can change the playback resolution for your video without altering its export resolution. This can reduce playback lag significantly. To make this change, click the playback resolution drop down menu, the full button, and select any of the four options to reduce the playback resolution to a fraction of the native resolution half, quarter, one sixth, or one eighth. Two, remember to turn off quality playback. While high quality playback is desirable as it lets you see your video in a resolution closest to how it will look when exported or uploaded to YouTube, this option can reduce the performance of Premiere Pro. Disabling the high quality playback option is also another way to quickly resolve playback lag. Simply go to the program monitor settings and deselect the high quality playback option. 3. Use proxy videos in your workflow. Proxy videos are lower resolution copies of an original video and Premiere Pro supports proxy files. Working with a proxy can ensure you'll experience no lags during playback. There are two ways to create a proxy video in Premiere Pro. The first is through Project Settings panel. Create a new project and import your media files to create a sequence. Then go to File, Project Settings, and select Ingest Settings. Tick the Ingest button and select Copy and Create Proxies from the drop-down menu beside the Ingest button and click OK. The second is through the Project Panel. Simply select one or more footages in the Project Panel and right-click. Go to Proxy and select Create Proxies. Choose the media format and select the low-resolution proxy preset from the preset drop-down and click OK. This will open up the Adobe Media Encoder to automatically convert the footages into proxies and once it's finished, simply close the Adobe Media Encoder and the proxies will get automatically attached to your project's media files. 4. Mute FX Visual and audio effects can increase the working size of a video file significantly. This is why turning off effects can improve playback quality and eliminate lag. To turn off effects, click the Global FX Mute button, which should be one of the icons on the Play toolbar below the playback screen. If the FX button isn't in the toolbar, click the plus button at the lower right side of the screen and drag the FX button to the toolbar. 5. Increase Memory Allowance Under the Memory option within the Preferences menu, you'll find that a certain amount of RAM has been reserved for other applications. Unfortunately, the higher the reserved RAM, the lower the amount of RAM available for Premiere Pro. So reducing the reserved RAM will increase the memory allowance for Premiere Pro and any other Adobe programs you may have installed. To increase memory allowance, reduce RAM reserved for other apps to the lowest possible level. 6. Render Preview Videos Premiere Pro color codes the video timeline to show when playback is real-time or not. The color green means that playback is real-time, while yellow and red show that playback is not real-time. Choppiness and lag increase when playback is not real-time. By rendering preview videos of all or parts of your footage, you can reduce playback lag. To render previews, start by setting in and out points for the preview video you want to create. Place the playhead at the starting point and then press I on your keyboard to set an in point. Similarly, place the playhead at the out point and press O on your keyboard to set an out point. Then, go to the Sequence menu and select Render In to Out. When rendering is complete, the color of the timeline should change to green. 7. Optimize Rendering for Performance Premiere Pro lets users optimize rendering for performance or memory. Optimizing for memory can be useful if you're experiencing memory errors. Otherwise, it's best to optimize rendering for performance. To do this, go to Memory Settings within the Preferences menu and select Performance in the drop-down menu beside the Optimize Rendering for option. 8. Close the Lumetri Scopes panel The Lumetri Scopes panel is one of many scopes available in Premiere Pro to support compliance with industry standards. If it is active during playback, the Lumetri panel actually analyzes the color and lighting of the footage. This is not always needed and can increase the amount of work Premiere Pro has to do during playback, resulting in performance issues. So by closing the Lumetri panel, you can reduce playback lag. To close the panel, click the menu button beside the panel's name and select Close Panel. If you're interested in more useful content, check out filmora.wondershare.com.